Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Bleaker here, and we are back with this beautiful little game here. This is Game Dev Tycoon. As you can see, I've kind of already started a company, but what fun is that? Let's save this. Create a new game here. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to the start of your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Who wants to lead the market? I want to own the market. All the money, folks, is in ownership. So, that's okay. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming... Your upcoming company a name. Company name? Bleaker Dev? Yeah. Bleak Gaming. <laughs> Bleak Gaming player name? Bleaker. I'm definitely a dude. Swag haircut, dude. Well, let's see what we got here. Anything good? Uh, I gotta like that. Let's check out his... Wait. Oh, that sweater vest dough. That sweater vest dough. I love it. What does this little button do? No, you can always continue playing after the main game is over. The game links if it's best way, how fast you can learn more. It's coming. And when the high score is calculated. Okay. Um. Would you like to import all previous game? Don't want to use my previous game hints. I kind of do. But... No, it's not. Well, so guys, basically the premise of this game is we have to develop the game. So, we pick a topic, we pick a name. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's pick a topic first. Vampire virtual pet vocabulary or game development? Vampire. Um, oh boy, what do we call a vampire game? Bit? Bitter bite? Ah? Ah, I have no friends. We'll do this as an uh, action game. And we'll do it on the, oh boy, what's got more of the market share? We can do it on the G64. Not 100% sure what that's a reference to, a bit out of my age, or the PC. So the game development cost for this is going to be 20, it's going to be 20k, and it's going to put us deep in the hole, but it's got a larger market share, so we'll sell more units. Or we can just, since we're starting off, the development cost for this is about 5k. So I'm probably going to roll with this one first, and I'll kind of explain a little bit more as we get going. So Bitter Bite, Vampire Action, PC game, costing us 10k already out of our 70k budget. Uh, we'll do this as a text base until we can kind of get our footing here and I get more information by generating game reports. So, it's an action game, so probably gameplay is going to be very important. Engine, and I'm going to decrease stories and quests here a bit. And I'll call that good. So as I am chugging away here, we gain bubbles for design and technology. I'm not 100% sure what those do. Oh god, uh... I'm not 100% sure what those are referenced to. I'd have to look at the wiki for this, but I'm basically going to try not to sound like a blubbering idiot. So we got some dialuge, some level design, and some artificial intelli intelligence. Some intelligence, everybody. So I'd figure the level design is kind of important, along with the dialuge. But the AI, I'm just going to drop it a bit here. So we're gaining technology. We will gain bugs, which will have to be worked out at the end of the game. See, there's a bug. So we're doing text-based graphics with basic sounds. So I want graphics to be good, along with sound I don't think has to be good for this. So we're generating our game here. Now, after it's finished, we're going to work out the bugs and hit finish. So we'll kind of find out what's going on here. New topic, new combo, okay, yep. 
So we basically gain experience, and then as we gain experience, we can unlock different things. Like, eventually we can unlock, like, an economy, or, like, uh, an economy in the game, basic story, or more advanced story. Yeah, we'll release the game. What's the worst that happens? The first reviews for our new rele newly released game, Bit or Bite, came in. Shows potential, alright, I'll take that. Uh, has its moments, alrighty, alrighty. I could have been better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Game heroes. I have choice words for you. Vampire action is a great combo. Hang on, I'm gonna readjust my microphone here a bit. It's kind of getting all droopy on me. Replace my pop filter. Uh, action adventure. Alrighty. So then we'll make money. Bleak Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Bitter Bite. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Bleak Gaming is sure to gain fans quickly. So then we'll gain, like, we'll sell units. Look at that. Bitter Bite sold 40, 4,500, or 450, ugh, numbers. Gosh darn it. In the first week of market. <laughs> market. We made it into the charts at number 62. Very nice. So we'll, like, gain fans. Yeah, that we now have 24 fans. So we gain fans, and we get a fan base, and stuff will... I'll look at the wiki and kind of be able to give you guys more information in the next episode. So, from here, I can either develop a new game, look at my game history, research new topics like new topic or a custom game engine, which I'm not going to do yet because I don't have the research points to do it, or I can generate a game report. So I'm going to select the game that I just did, and it'll kind of tell us like, hey, this is what's good, this is what's bad, so I'll have me generate a game report here. Uh, Bitter Bite has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone for the history of Bleak Gaming. It's not too shabby. We made all of our money back, as you guys can see up here. Alright, so we got the... So basically, it'll like tell us like what's good, what's bad, and we can kind of perfect our like genres and gaming from there. So, Vampire in Action is a great combination. I like it. Stories and quests seem to be not important for this type of game. Alright, so I was kind of wrong there. But that's why we're learning. So we'll develop a new game here. Let's pick a topic. We'll save that. We'll save game development for later. I can do virtual pet or vocabulary. Let's try a virtual pet simulation. And call it... Oh good god, I'm going to spend like half this game actually this half this walkthrough like trying to figure out a good name for this stuff so we have a virtual pet scruffy scruffy the virtual hamster what's his name scruffy hats off to any of you who get that futurama reference i just gotta quit now we'll pick a platform here we'll do a pc again I'm sorry, hang on here for a second, folks. I just got to set my little alarm here. I'll record for another... There we go. So, we have a virtual... So, we have Scruffy, the virtual hamster. A virtual pet simulation on game on the PC costing us 10 k Let's do it! Again, we'll do text-based. We're going to kind of do cheaper uh, setups on these until we get, like, a better understanding of the market. I should really get a, my webcam working because I'm talking with my hands a lot and suddenly I realized that's not how Fraps works! So we're going to start designing here. So, it's a virtual simulation, so gameplay is probably important along with engine and stories and quests. Oh, I was right, stories and quests weren't important. Probably the engine will be a little bit important on this. I already got a bug, technology and design are looking good. Research, we're doing good. So, I gotta think here. Level design, probably not important. The AI is probably really important. I'll drop these two, because I think we want to focus more on the AI and the simulation. Maybe a little bit on dialogue. Level design. Alright. We're gaining, we're gaining. Okay, so sound and graphics, probably more important than the world design. Bitter Bite is off the market and sold 14,000 units, generating 102,000 in sales. 
That's well, not too bad for a first game. Alrighty, so we're kind of finish this off here. Alrighty, all the bugs are gone. Let's release this bad boy. New record for technology. That, that is technology. Yeah, let's just kind of skip past most of this. All right, let's release this bad boy. Recent study suggests that the something 64 is steadily outselling the competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say this might spell the end of the competing hardware manufacturers. Ha! Our first reviews for our new release game, Scruffy, the Virtual Hamster, came in. Oh, it's gonna be a flop. No? Shows potential. All right, all right, that's a good start. Falls a bit short. Well, it's a, it's a virtual game about a hamster. Meh. Simulation works well on the PC. I kind of figured that. So then we'll generate the game report on there. And we'll kind of learn a bit more. Look at that. Still sold a lot of units. Gained 12 fans. It's not too shabby. Look at that. Rank 100 in the world. Our post-analyst is scrubbed the Virtual Hamster is complete, and we got the following results. Virtual, pet, and simulation is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this kind of game. Oops. Platform match PC simulation is great. Alrighty. So let's uh, research a new topic. Fantasy. There we go. You researched the shiznit out of that thing. Stop working! Start working! Ah! La, la, la. Selling a lot of units for Scruffy, the virtual hamster. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento. Ninvento. If they were German, they'd be Ninvento! <laughs> it's planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is widely successful arcade. is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Dinky Kang? Good for them. Many experts doubt that the home gaming console will take off, but we are eager to see what an invento, night invento, deliver. Fantasy, alright, so the last one playthrough I did of this, or the last time I played this game, fantasy was like my go-to. Like, fantasy RPGs, I could, I really had those down to a science. Like, every time I would make one, I would get like an 8 or higher. Scruffy, the virtual hamster is now off the market. It made 61,000 sales, alright, so we're going to develop a new game here. We're gonna call this is gonna be a fantasy RPG because I know that combination works pretty well we're gonna do it on this we're gonna do it on the G64 it's gonna be a higher development cost but I think I can knock this one out of the park so fantasy RPG about bacon final bacon one. No, I'll just call it Final Bacon. Yeah, Final Bacon. So it's going to be a fantasy game where you play as a piece of bacon. And you try not to get fried or something. I don't know. We're winging it. We're going to do text-based graphics again. Still getting our footing in the, getting my footing back in this playthrough. Alright, so I know for a fact stories and quest, engine, gameplay is the most important, followed by stories and quest, and the engine I don't think plays as big of a role. Or I could be completely insane, who knows. AI is not important, but... I'll give it a little bit here. So we're good, good level design, Dialuge, and AI, okay. It's going good. What happens when you hit this down button? Oh, it's just kind of there. World design is more important than sound. Alrighty, that all looks pretty good. Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors. Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors that the new home gaming console, the TES, 
called the TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and is uniquely designed controller. Most excellent. Oh, got a bug. Squash that bug. Nice. Nice. New record. Very nice. New combo. Yay, game plays up. Yay, I leveled up. I guess we wait eagerly. I shall generate a game report in the meantime. This one's costing me 41,000. I better get my money back. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. People just love bacon, man. And then there's that guy. It's a good game. The focus on graphics served this game very well. Yeah, I know. I know. To Bleaker from Patrick Greenheart Games. Hi, Bleaker. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. We would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Oh. Okay. And enjoy with your purchase for a little startup. Okay. Cool! You're welcome, guys. I don't know who the hell they are. Our post-release analytics of final bacon is complete, and we got the following results. Fan and RPG is a good combination. Story and quests seem to be very important for this type of game. Yeah. Just told you that. Hi there, I've just finished Final Bacon. I was impressed by your talent. I'm I'm contact business. We could use your skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, let me know. I'll see that you have some work for you. Jason. Alright, we can find contract work now, so we can like do like create an animation for an existing logo. Like we can accept these contracts for like a little bit of extra cash. I mean it's kind of some cool stuff we can do. So that was contract work. Ranking 39. Very nice. So let's research. New topic. Uh, zombies. Start. We're researching. Now I'm scratching my head. Intently researching. Writing on my notepad. Intensely. And... New topic, zombies. So let's let's research one more thing here. One more new topic. What do I feel like? Airplane. Because why not? Making lots of money from Final Bacon. Should be taken off the market here pretty soon. Ninvento. T-E-S. Alrighty. Let's get ready to make a game. I'll make a game for that. I gained a fan. I have 300 fans right now. Airplane. Okay, let's develop a new game here. Pick a topic, zombies. Uh, let's do uh, the zombie action game on. We're gonna do it on the. Yeah, we've got money. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna risk this. So we're gonna call this one brains. Or nah. Brains. Brains. Or nah. It's a zombie action game on the NES with text-based graphics. Final Bacon is not the market. It sold 2,500 units and generated, wow, a lot of money. So the license for this thing is going to just, like, obliterate me. But we'll kind of see what happens. All right, so we know stories and quests are pretty much unimportant. So I'll bump up my engine a bit. And the reason why we know this, guys, is because I generated the game report. That's why it's pretty important to be generating these game reports, because then they'll, like, tell you stuff. Like, yeah, we need these. No, these aren't as important. And they'll kind of, like, help us get better scores, and, like, you once you dial in that... Okay. Just kind of do that. isn't very important, I think. Yeah, I'll kind of roll with this. So we're almost done here. We have no bugs to squash. Perfect. New records on both these. 
new combo. Engine. Look at all this fancy stuff that we just leveled up. Let's release this shiznit. Our first reviews for the newly get really released game, Brains. Brains. Or not. Came in. Oh, it's gonna be a flop. Has seen, have seen better. Alright, alright. Has its moments. Not bad, not good. Quirky, but good. Okay, alrighty. So we'll generate the game report on this, because that's always important. You know, we might have flopped, but we still are selling a lot of units of this game. Alright, we got the following results. Zombie to action, great combo. Stories and quests seem to not be important for this kind of game. Alrighty. Still gaining fans, still gaining money. I think we'll just about break even on that game. So, but now that we have that, let's pick a topic here. Let's actually do a fantasy game. Fantasy RPG on the TES. Tell us one life of Brian. It's the life of Brian. Hi, Brian. It's Brian. It's Brian. It's Brian. 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 Hello, Brian. I'm looking your cerebellum, Brian. Brian. We'll take a risk with the uh, extra money on graphics. Stories and quests, important. Gameplay. Engine. Alright. Still selling a lot of brains or not. Nah. Global design. Drop the AI a lot. Oh. Excuse me. Wow. Kind of make everything equal here. I'll just kind of see. This is more for experimentation on this one, because I'm still trying to refine. Like, again, we generate the game reports and we, like, refine. Thank you, James Hepfield, for interrupting my thoughts. Brains or not is not off the market. Alright guys, I guess when we come back, we'll see how the life of Brian does. So until next time guys, have fun!